a long line of people waiting to be seen. To be judged, he thought, and wondered yet again whether he ought to leave before they called his number. He could tell the man at the desk that it was all a mistake, that he'd come here by accident, a misunderstanding and nothing more. Anyway, he had somewhere else to be. Didn't everyone? If he left now, of course, then he'd never know. But did he really want to? It was a question he'd asked himself countless times. He still didn't have a good answer. He glanced around, secretly trying to get a better sense of the competition. Unfortunately, there was no way to tell who here would pass and who would fail. You left by another door. There would be no opportunities to watch as someone made their exit and attempt to glean from their expression whether they had made it through. No fleeting moments during which the crowd could desperately try to determine what was so special about that person. No standards to which you could compare yourself. No chance to figure out if you measured up. It was unlikely that he'd ever even see any of these people again. The numbers ticked up steadily, growing higher and more foreboding as the line of hopefuls oozed slowly onward. Sneaking a look over his shoulder, he saw the man at the desk staring back at him, one eyebrow arching up and a smile on the man's lips. He wasn't sure what that meant. Next. The front of the line, much sooner than he had expected, and this was it, he realized, the abrupt denouement of another earnest crusade, a transient pause during which he would find out whether it had it all been worth it, whether all those years of struggle and industrious hardship would finally bear fruit. It could only ever have come to this, and there was nothing more to do now but step forward and discover where this long, circuitous path had led him. He hesitated, but no matter. He already knew.